uh, what's on a limited budget? What are the best free tools and resources for Amazon and for selling online in general? Okay, so that's the question. So let's go through them for you because it's a really good question that I don't think we've actually answered before. So let's go here and let's start. Let's actually start with answer the public. Let's start that. So this one is called answer the public. Here we go. This is a really, really great website. So I'm going to give you all of these. Don't worry, but it's at answerthepublic.com. This is a really great website. Somebody give me a product that they're selling. Somebody give me that. And don't worry, Sahel, it, it's easy to screen share. I'll talk you through it when we're doing it. Somebody give me a product to sell. Let's go and do some research. Uh, socks. All right, cool. So I'm just going to type in here, look, socks. And so what this is, it's all the questions that get answered. Uh, let's do it for, we can, whichever marketplace you're in, of course, you can be in whatever it is, but let's just do it in the USA and let's see what comes up. 80 questions. So I use these as a way, let's just go to data. Um, I use these as a way of seeing what, what long tail search terms come up and then I use those long tail search terms uh, in Amazon PPC and in Google PPC as well. But then I also um, use these questions for ideas for content, for articles and things like that. So I'm using it for all sorts of different things. Oh, what have we got? Are socks recyclable? Can socks cause swelling? Can socks cause foot pain? So that all speaks to people having pain in their feet. So maybe some socks around um, helping people with that. Where do socks go? Where socks disappear? This is the perennial question. Where do socks disappear to? Which socks are best? Which socks to wear with sneakers? So if I, you might want to start selling socks that specifically are awesome with sneakers, for instance. So you can use it. What socks are best for hiking? I would have never, ever thought that people are searching for a specific activity, sock-related product. So what socks are best for hiking? Well, that means you should be putting together hiking socks. What socks are best to wear with vans? Well, socks for vans. We've got some really cool stuff. So I love this, really, really cool. So that's answer the public. All right. Uh, Google Ads Keyword Planner is my next one. All right, so Google Ads Keyword Planner, where is that? That is here. So Google AdWords, obviously that's free. Um, to get to this, you will need to put your credit card into Google and run like one click on an advert, all right? And then you can get to this particular uh, screen. Uh, ba -ba 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 what am I doing here? I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to keyword planner. All right. So next up, we're going to choose something else. We're going to do dog shampoo. So that was the next thing come up. So let's just go discover new keywords. This is all free, of course. Dog shampoo. So I'm in English and I'm in Australia. So if I'm going to sell on Amazon Australia, that's where I'll be. And I'm just going to have a look what comes up for that. So it's already telling me I can broaden my search by dog products, dog grooming products. So these are immediately great search terms. Oops, I actually don't want to do that. Don't. Great search terms um, for broad based search terms. So you can understand more about what your product is and who's actually buying your product. OK, uh, but I've got what have I got here? Best dog shampoo, a dry shampoo, puppy shampoo. Hmm, I wouldn't have thought that puppies require their own shampoo, but apparently they do while well, people are searching for it. So, you know, there's that. Let's just broaden out my number of rows. So, again, what I'm getting is data about other things I can sell and other things I can utilize to sell my current product. But I can see already there's 2,400 searches per month in Australia for dog shampoo, which tells me I ought to be running some uh, campaigns on that. And again, this everything I'm going to show you is free. All right. So Google Ad Keyword Planner, very, very good. You should be using that for sure. Let's go to um, google.com. 
Now let's put the same, oh, so do I have something else? Uh, socks, no, I want chocolate. Zester Greater, let's do that. So I'm just picking things out, what people have put in there. Zester and Greater. All right, so first thing you want to check here is the auto suggest. Now, I'm going to get uh, terrible results back because I'm in Portugal and obviously Google knows I'm in Portugal. And so I'm getting things related to Portugal when it com was coming up, okay? However, if you're in Australia, then you're obviously going to get some different results up. But all of these things here, all of these drop downs, what you're getting on auto suggest, they're awesome for long tail keywords and also for broad keywords and what you want to do is you want to do the old a b just like we do on amazon c bloody bloody blah d to get you ideas for longer tail keywords and also for product ideas okay that's super cool and if you do actually do the search and you scroll down to the bottom bah, 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 then you'll also get all of these as well which are very very good search is related to down the bottom they give you really good long tail search terms for your uh, google ppc your bing ppc your amazon ppc bloody bloody blah as well all right so that's a really cool uh, thing to use uh so amazon search auto suggest so same thing let's just go to amazon now bam, 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 bam. Uh, let's see if i can find one more uh crystals okay crystals there we go so crystals so now i'm using amazon's auto suggest and the important thing to remember when it comes to this is uh, amazon ranks these in terms of the number of searches each one gets so crystals and healing stones gets more search volume than crystals for jewelry than crystals for witchcraft so it's in a it's in ascending order okay so it's a really important thing, what you may not have realized, but that's how most of the um, paid software that gives you feedback on uh, keywords like Merchant Words, Helium 10, Jungle Scout, they use that functionality to, to put together their own particular things. And it's free. Anyway, so uh, crystals. So you can use this, look, crystals and healing stones, crystals and stones, crystals for nails interesting niche that is hmm. so you could do that too so that's also free really really cool what's another one built with all right so let's just go here to here um i use built with all the time and this is at builtwith.com so whenever i am doing uh, competitor research competitor analysis i always go look on google for people selling my particular thing. So if we come up here, for instance, da, 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 who's the top rated? Well, Amazon's top rated, so that's pretty good. Uh, microplane.com. So they are very, very top rated, but they are not Amazon. So I will take that, microplane.com. I will come over to Built With, and I'm gonna figure out what their websites put together with and how they have structured their website to do so well so it's competitive research so they're using google analytics they're using facebook they're using pixels they're using tag manager they're using conversion track tracking bloody bloody blah, blah, blah and now i can get to see what they're actually putting onto their site their site is built upon 3d cart etc etc so i use this heaps to give me a really good insight into how my competitors in a niche are building their websites, what um, plugins they're using for their WordPress website, for instance. So I use it for that all the time. So what are they? So we're doing Google remarketing. They're using the double click network, which is Google's Google's network. Bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So I use that heaps. And then they're using USPS for their shipping. You get so much unbelievable information from built with. It's really really good. So that's a good one. Uh, the other one that I use like that is SimilarWeb, which is at SimilarWeb.com. So um, here's something you may not realize, but um, SimilarWeb is able to take a website and analyze the traffic that goes to that particular website. So here we are on Amazon.com.au, so Amazon in Australia. If we scroll, 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 we can see that uh, in October, 
they had 37 million people visit the amazon.com website which is an increase a month on month of 12 percent so 12 percent increase in a month which is pretty sexy uh where the traffic comes from blah 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 boring 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 here's the interesting stuff referrals so where does amazon.com.au get its referral traffic from well turns out oz bargain sends a shitload of traffic to amazon.com.au so you ought to be um, promoting your products on oz bargain for instance that's what our media tells us search so this is for the organic search terms amazon seo uh, related and then paid search term that's not so interesting for us but social is very interesting for us because you can see that YouTube drives a shitload of traffic to Amazon. So you ought to be running YouTube ads for your Amazon products. You ought to be running Facebook ads, Instagram, Reddit. Oh, that's new. I'll be utilizing that. So just from that, I will now be running Reddit traffic to my Amazon listings because I haven't seen that before. So I will be getting that set up uh, immediately. Twitter as well, although Twitter's next to nothing. But still, listen, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you absolutely should be using them because that represents, what, 80% of the search traffic. So you should be running your adverts on that, all right? Pretty cool. So that is similar web. How are we going? We're going good. Uh, next, let's go to uh, 1688.com. Uh, so I use this when I'm looking for products. I use this heaps and it's free. And the easiest way to use it is just to run uh, image search. So it's that little camera icon just there. Let's just, here's one I prepared earlier for you. This is for leather dog leash. So I've just uploaded an image that I found on Amazon of a leather dog leash. And now I'm saying to myself, where did the person who sells that leather dog leash get it from? Well, Here's an easy way to find out and also an easy way to get leather dog leashes as well. So 1688, great website. You can see that is, let's find something. That is 35 yuan for that particular leather dog leash, for instance. That's 20 yuan for that one, et cetera, et cetera. You should be using 1688 to do your product sourcing with. Uh, last two. What else am I going to show you? Oh, Suval. So this is at suval.com. Somebody give me one last thing to go search for. Otherwise, I'll just make something up. But if you want me to search for your stuff, that's cool. Da -da -da. Nappies, says Vicky. Uh, well, in America, that is diapers. So let's use diapers. And now what it gives you is all of the long tail um, uh, search terms for Google for Wikipedia, for, uh, what's that? I can't even see that behind that. Uh, for Bing, for Yahoo, for Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. So it gives you all that information all there. So it's a really fast way of seeing what are the search terms being searched for on each of those particular websites. Really, really cool, works really, really well. Last one that you should absolutely be using that is they don't disappear yeah i thought that was funny too i'm surprised that adult oh there it is fetishism there we go diaper sausage make of that whatever you will uh we can only assume what the hell that means anyway uh last one you should definitely be using is facebook audience insights you should absolutely be using this so uh give me some thing well let's just use our let's use our diapers one okay so diapers that's going to be females buying those they're into let's just get rid of that so you can see exactly what you do go to interests and i'm going to go to family and relationships and they are mothers you may also think that um, you wanted to target people who speak a particular language or are in married they're newlyweds whatever you could do that so you can go through and look at all these different levels. So parents, zero to two. So you put in everything you're interested in, okay? All right, now once you've got that, you can get the demographic information on Facebook. That's pretty obvious. That's no worries at all. A lot of them are in sales. 
fascinating. A lot of them are in administrative services. Mm, that would be that would be um, understandable. And healthcare, okay. Sales an interesting one though. I would never have thought that. So that's interesting. But the important thing is page likes. So page likes then gives you the ability to go look at which pages are most have the most affinity with that particular audience. So women who are going to be in that particular categories, going to be buying diapers, where are they most looking? Well, they're looking at the Boppy Company, Bailey's Blossoms, and BDC. So I would look at all of these, and I would go take a look at them and see what their website is all about and see what their Facebook page is all about and see what I can learn how they are marketing. Why are they so why do they have so much affinity with that particular market niche? What can I learn from them? And then, of course, you can also, if you want to, run Facebook ads to people that like the Boppy company, which would be a very smart thing to do as well. There you go. How's that? So that's a shitload of free tools that you can use to further help you make more money online.